Welcome to the Toronto Rock Athletic Center for week five of the Arena Lacrosse League with a Saturday night showdown between the visiting Peterborough Timbermen and the defending champion Toronto Monarchs. Hello again, lacrosse fans. Lance Wynn working alongside JVI Productions. Thanks for joining us as the all-regular season rolls on. Starting goalies for tonight's game. For the Timbermen, it'll be Thomas Kaizak. And for the Monarchs, the vet, Craig Wendy, gets the call between the Pipes head coaches for Peterborough's Joe Sullivan. His assistants are Jason Tassie and Derek Cruff. And for Toronto, Bobby DeBrone is the head coach. His assistants are Sean Gillies, Nick Krepensek, and Justin Kirby-Wilson. Top-notch crew, one more time, the guys in stripes, Mac Daddy Abbott is the crew chief. He's joined by Seb Bedoin and Brad Fennell. And as we get started here, of course, the Timbermen coming in after a big win last week against Brampton. They sit at a 2-2 two and two record. The Monarchs, defending champions, struggling. They've lost their last three after a big opening week win against Brampton. They sit 1-3, so something has to give here today. And... Off the opening draw, possession belongs to the Timbermen, and they'll settle it down with Parker Sands out there working with the rest of the offense as they will filter out late. Tail McComber out there on that left side. A little bit of a different look than last week as you can see Skylar Thomas as well at the top sitting there at number 92. First shot of the game gets knocked down. Mason Kamenga will pick that up, work that up to Patrick Thompson. And he'll try to get it over the timeline, does. And it's Parker Pfeiffer, one of the Fife dog crew, of course. Zach Pfeiffer in the lineup as well. So a lot of brotherly love. Steve Fortelli, Pfeiffer. Good pass inside, first shot of the game right on. Good stop by Kaizak. And a quick outlet will send away the Timberman. Ryan Patterson will flip, give way, and it's Aaron Woods. Woods will work over on that right side. Thomas, quick feet, looking for an opening. Good double team, good defensive rotation by the Monarchs early. Sizing it up, eight on the shot clock. That's from way out. Wendy handles that, no problem. Good outlet pass, lofted up. Looking for Zach Pfeiffer. He's in alone. Defense cuts him off. Pfeiffer may have made one move too many. Probably should have taken that shot. Either way, back come Peterborough the other way with Trumbull. Sam Trumbull, he will give way now. Gasparetti gets a step. Chase Eklund all over him, but running out of real estate. Crease the call. It'll go up the other way with the Monarchs, and it's Ben Heidecker. Heidecker looking for some help. Bad pass. Good job teetering, but that was over. So nothing that Dan Williams could do about that. Ben Doherty, he will scoop. He'll retreat. Jack McAlpine and the rest of the offense will go back to work. Keep an eye out there. Justin Bragg out there on that left side as well. As is good Goddard. Looking to turn the corner. Goddard sizing it up. Changes the angle. Beauty bounce shot on the run. So Dylan good Goddard on the money with his first of the game. one nothing for the Timberman. Just a good job of creating his own shot as Goddard able to make a couple of good moves and Create some space between him and a defender and a dangerous bounce shot. Top corner on the run. How about that for some pinpoint accuracy? 12.48 to go. We are just underway here in the opening quarter. Just in case you missed it, a thriller in Oshawa as the Outlaws handed the Whippy Steelhawks their first loss of the season, a 16-15 final. Another late second goal for Oshawa. They've been making a habit of that. In the meantime, between time, off that draw, possession to the Monarchs. Heidecker changed his course, gets it to Williams. Williams in the offensive end. They'll look to set things up. Ty Gesso out there as well. They'll swing it around to Henry. Follows, follows, gets a screen. Follows, has room, tried to go top corner. Just over the net, rebound, tried to tuck in, nothing doing there as Kaizak had that short side closed off, and now it's Gasparetti. Big long strides, he out races, follows, that's not an easy task. And a good quick skip pass back to the left side to McComber. 
Filtering out late, Aaron Woods. Ten on the shot clock. Give and go. Woods, fake up, down, but crease the call. Wendy had that stopped anyway. Tell you, you got to do a lot to beat Craig Wendy. Outstanding netminder as Eklund with the flip. And now it's Parker Pfeiffer, the leading scorers on this Toronto team. Changes course, good spin, but better defense. And I tell you, if you haven't seen Brian Rice, he does a little everything for the Timberman. Offensively, defensively, and in transition. Patterson now will leg it into the offensive end. Look for an opening. Zips it across. Nothing doing. Good defense by the Monarchs as Eklund forces them way away from that dotted half circle. And now it's Goddard to goal score. Kicks it back. Ten on the shot clock. Another shot. Wendy in the pad. He'll flip it back up. Lob it up. Another good transition opportunity. Here come the Monarchs. Stepping into one and... Jonas Dilks just a little too much bounce on the ounce there. He puts it in the gondola and it'll go back the other way. Timberman will set up shop now and wait for the rest of the offense to filter out. Here comes Woods. Woods looking for McComber. Nothing doing on the connection there. Bragg battling for it, but it's the Monarchs that come away with it. It's Eklund now. Doesn't have the numbers, looking one-on-one. -on -one. Good defense by the Timbermen as we are at the 10.5-minute mark, quarter number one. Portelli will swing it around. And Jordan Dance back in the lineup for the Monarchs, and they've been waiting for him to get back. And opportunity there on the quick stick, but through the crease, the call by Williams. So Jordan Dance has missed a few games, and now back in the Monarchs lineup and. Expect him to make a difference. Holden Lowe's. He will retreat, and Rice now will remain out on offense. They'll swing it around right side. Taking the Timmerman a while to get into their offense. Quick shot by Goddard, right on by Wendy. Ball loose. Monarch scoop it up. Good job by Zach Pfeiffer to dodge a check. Pass was a little to be desired, and in a bad spot in there, and getting a tad bit roughed up. But a good job to flip back. Get it Patrick Thompson. He's got no, but goes to the bounce. That one went through the legs off the post. And in tight now again. Tucking great save, Kaizak. So two outstanding stops by Thomas Kaizak. And we're still, still a one-goal game. McComber, great hesitation move. But Heidecker caught up to him. Gasparetti. 10 on the shot clock. He'll bring it back outside, swing it around. Half boards on the left. Timberman are already headed back. Dying seconds of the shot clock. That one will go off of Colton McNutt. And that'll be a shot clock violation back to Toronto. We're under nine minutes to go here, opening quarter. Portelli, he will teeter on that timeline and looking for a screen from Williams. And finally, Pfeiffer gets out there. They'll swing it around to Follows on the left. Follows, isolated one-on-one. -on -one. Kick back over. Quick shot by Parker Pfeiffer. Rebound, picked up, dance. Back to Pfeiffer. Beauty finish. Oh, one of the Fife dogs with the quick stick finish. We're all tied at one. Just a great job, Jordan Dance. Feeding Parker Pfeiffer. And Pfeiffer from a tough angle. Boy, kid, is money in the bank. That's his first of the game, 12th goal of the season. And already, you got to figure the Monarchs coaching staff, Bobby DeBruin and company, glad to have Jordan dance back in the lineup. Under eight and a half, off the draw, Mason Kaminga. Boy, he does a little of everything, too. Tough customer, Kaminga kicks it out. Thompson as well. Thompson, dangerous in transition. And a very good defender. Thompson will step out, swing it around, and they'll kick it back to the top, work it, dance left side. Dance. Looking for some room, 10 on the shot clock. Does a good spin to get away. Bounce shot, good save, Kaizak. Ball loose in that dot half circle. Picked up, and Riley Ford got his own rebound, so fresh 30 now for Toronto. Pfeiffer, save, Kaizak. Ball loose. Parker will pick that up. And swing it all the way back out for the reset. They'll go back to work with Follows. Henry Follows. Little shake and bake. Bounces back out. 
pass to no one looking for Pfeiffer. Pfeiffer battling for it in there with Bragg, and Pfeiffer wins that. Ten on the shot clock. That one-handed pass out follows, scoops it, tried to underhand it in. Wide of the net, and good job by the Monarchs. They'll just get it, flip it deep. Shot clock violation, and with 7.15 to go, we will take our first official's timeout. All set to go after our officials' timeout. Tied at one here and a much needed win for both these two teams. As the Timmerman now with possession, McComber will bring it over the timeline. They'll set it up, start it on the right, and look to work it back to the left side. McComber gets a step on own run. That one right on. Easy save for Wendy Ann. Trying to sneak that one through a crowd. was Jamison Dilks wasn't able to do it. But possession out with quick shot finish. Beauty job and one more time. It's Dylan Good Goddard with his second of the game. So making a habit of that is Dylan Goddard is not a whole lot to say, but in order to beat Craig Wendy, you're gonna need some help from your friends. And that means usually an assisted goal. And a great job of being able to have a quick release off that from a ways out and still be accurate. Take some skill. 2-1 Timberman as Kaminga and Bragg will do battle one more time. Bragg ties up Kaminga, does a good job there, and Eric Gay will come away with it. Pass up, and it's Patrick Thompson. Thompson. Swinging around Jordan Dance. And Dance had a notion to take that strong, but he got well covered. And now swinging around, work it to Dan Williams. Williams, kick it back to the top. Riley Ford swinging around left side. Dance, the spin move. Oh, the dancer, great stick check. And that was a good defensive play as Dance got a step, but a great recovery now, Gasparetti. He'll duck in, he'll bounce out off a check from Ron and set it back up now with Skyler Thomas. Thomas, good swing, trying that quick stick finish as it worked, picked up by Gasparetti, couldn't handle it. And here comes Aaron Walker, funky talker. He'll get it over the timeline and the Monarchs now with under six minutes to go here, will look for the equalizer. Follows in Portelli. Follows will filter back to that crease. Portelli comes off a screen, nothing doing there. Flips and it's Parker Pfeiffer. Down that one, and that backhand attempt, no one. And another dive, good job by Kaizak again to cut that off. So someone's read the scouting report without a doubt. And now it's Brian Rice. Has Goddard. Goddard swings it over, great save by Wendy. He'll smother that and bring that in. And look for someone to pass to, and he finds Eklund. Chase Eklund, he'll flip, he'll retreat. And another opportunity here for the Monarchs' offense to go to work. Ty Gesso out there as well. A quick shot, Portelli! Off the post and in. We're tied at two. So Stephen Portelli does a good job to find an opening through a crowd to pick up his first of the game, fourth of the season. And that's just a good heads up play. Take that shot at the right time, put it in the right spot. Under five minutes to go, and so far this game is, as per the course, what we thought it would be. As these two teams going back and forth off the draw, it's the Monarchs. Timberman pressuring, Dilks. He'll flip and follows now. We'll work that left side. He'll wait for some help and get it back. Gets a step, follows, goes airborne, but gets checked in midair. Wasn't able to find it and losing his lid and hustling off his brag. Ball still loose on the carpet. Dying seconds and here come the Timberman now. Good defensive hole by Peterborough. Bafia on the run, takes the shot, it's blocked. So Brett Stoller, a stellar job, and they'll move it back up, and it's the dancer. 
Good stick check. Thompson will help him out. Good recovery, and they'll set it up. Williams looking for an opening. Dan Williams behind the net. Good no-look pass. Thompson has a chance. Tried to put it through a crowd. He'll get his own rebound. No reset on the play because it hit a defender. And Ford now got to work with five in the shot clock. That ball will go loose, and Rice will jump all over it. No numbers for the Timbermans, so Rice will stop, drop, and set up shop right there, half boards left side. Quick pass. That one steered aside by Wendy. And here come the Monarchs in transition the other way. On the run. And thinking better of it, not on his stick side, so Ben Heidecker will stay out there on that right side. Gives off to Portelli. Try to work one-on-one. -on -one. Good defense there to chase him back. Filtering out late was Ford, took his eye off the ball. And Timberman will take advantage. And they'll now work it into the offensive end as we are at the three-minute mark here, quarter number one. Tied at two. Skip pass to the right. Duck it in. That's right off the logo. Wendy looking for an outlet. He zips it almost the length of the carpet. Boy, he could... Get that ball up there in a hurry. Was looking for Jordan Dance. Couldn't connect. Trumbull the interception. And Peterborough now the setup. Looking for an opening. Good collapsing defense by the Monarchs. Swinging around Goddard. Goddard has both goals for the Timberman. And they'll work it now. Of course, Peterborough missing a couple of their snipers, including Cole Hanrahan. And they have been playing outstanding lacrosse after a big win against Brampton at Brampton Memorial Arena last week. Williams, good defensive hold by the Monarchs. They'll work it now. Started half boards with Owen Ron. Ron, kick it back out. Jesso will work it back, and that pass dangerous. Picked up. Ron, no, goes to the bouncer. So Ron with the interception and returns it five hole, and it's 3-2 for the defending champs. Give Owen Ron some credit. He used his length there to scoop out that outlet pass, looking up the middle, and then went to the bouncer five hole to beat Kaizak. So both netminders doing their job, but the offense takes a lot. Got to do some thinking. Got to be calculated to beat either one of these netminders. Off the draw, Lowe's had it, lost it. Graydon Power takes out his man, no call on the play. Stoller has it, he'll look, roll it off the boards, nicely done, but interception, Trumbull hit too late, and it'll be possession to the Monarchs. So the Monarchs riding a three-game losing streak, looking for their first win in three. So they would, got a long way to go here in this one with a minute 25. Williams gets a screen on the dump off. Looking for Pfeiffer. That's picked off. And it's Rice. Sorry, Bragg. Bragg has a man with him. Wrong stick side. Gasparetti right on. Saved by Wendy. And Williams now will loft it up Thompson over the timeline. Thompson will go to work. Three on one. Pfeiffer took his eye off it instead. And a late hit's going to keep it right here. So not the best play made by Patterson. As we close in on the final minute here of the first quarter, Monarchs will set it up at the top, work it down to Pfeiffer on the right. Give and go. And a bouncer corner, beauty finish. And again, it's the Fife dog. Parker Pfeiffer with his second of the game. 13th of the season has given the Monarchs a 4-2 lead. Just a good job finding the open man and better job being able to have that quick release in traffic. You get that ball in that dotted half circle, you do not have a whole lot of time to do a whole lot. 51 seconds left off the draw. Mason Kaminga again. He'll loft it up and Ron will run under it, move it over to Thompson. So the Monarchs looking to close this quarter off in impressive fashion as Portelli now. 35 in the game clock. Dance. He's going to let that go. Stop. Kazak. Real backhand. Beauty finish there. 
That's what you call improvising Owen Ron. On the doorstep, goes to the over-the-shoulder for his second of the game. So with 28.5 seconds left, the Monarchs reel off three straight and take a 5-2 lead. So timeout now called by the Timberman. And a good one. So we'll take a quick break. Be right back. Good to go after the Peterborough timeout. So we'll see here what head coach Joe Sullivan and company have in store. First thing they have to do is get possession here off the draw. And Kaminga, I tell you, he's a problem. Good job by Wendy to come out and zip that up as that would have been a back-in call. 18 seconds on the game clock, so Timberman are going to have to hurry. They're going to pull their goalie for the extra attacker, but there's only 10 on the game clock. Yeah, get over the timeline. Thomas, move it down. Going to have to hurry. Six. Thomas, going to have to let it go. You want a chance. Duck it on the cut. Aaron Woods with .5 seconds to go. Gets him on the board now. It's a 5-3 game. So great patience by Skyler Thomas. Boy, he waited as long as he could. And... Found Aaron Woods on the run in stride for his first of the game. Six of the season and a much-needed goal by Peterborough with .5 seconds left. So Joe Sullivan and company looking like a couple of geniuses over there as that worked exactly the way it goes. 15 in the book, 5-3 for the home side. All fastened in, nicely settled as we get ready for second quarter and great finish, great later stage of that first quarter by the Monarchs as they reeled off three straight, but it was a, a timeout call and perfect execution by the Timmerman in the dying seconds to pocket one before the end of the quarter and it's a 5-3 game, so back to it here, ball loose in the Monarchs end, picked up by Parker Sands. He'll fish it out, and no reset on the clock. I'm not sure why, because I didn't think anyone had possession. But that shot well wide of the mark will go up and out of play, and it'll go to the Monarchs up the other way. Dance. And he takes a hard hit. They'll swing it around. And it'll work back now to Follows. Follows. Quick skip. Karam doesn't go their way. Dance there, though, to make a fine recovery. Eight on the shot clock. Dance. Looking inside. Quick shot by Williams off the post and out. So the Monarchs will get a fresh 30 to work with. And heading out on the floor now is Ty Gesso. So just in case you missed it, Ty Gesso and Jordan Dance, brothers, first time they've taking the carpet together. So great job, and they'll both pick up a little something there as dangerous Dan Williams takes a feed from one of the Fife crew and pockets his first of the game. That's his first goal of the season for Dan Williams to go along with 10 assists, but playing with the dance brothers, oh, I tell you, nothing but good things. So hats off to them, and thanks, Mom, for those great fun facts about the boys and if you got any issues, fellas, you better take it up with me and leave mom out of it. 6-3, 13.45 to go. So it's the Monarchs that strike first here in the second. And off the draw. Good job by Bragg. Has Gasparetti with him. Right stick side. Quick shot. That's why you go to the guy on the right stick side. Angles. Angles and more angles to beat Wendy. Great job, and Gasparetti has been a welcome addition to the Arena Lacrosse League, of course. That's his eighth goal of the season, first tonight. And a much-needed answer as the deficit now two for the Timberman. Two 
Off the draw one more time. Kaminga all over the carpet like a good Dyson vacuum, and he will send that over to a trailer. Dance on the run. Tried to go five hole, but Kaizak and going to be an illegal cross check. So we're going to get our first penalty of the game, and it's going to go to the Timbermen and allow the Monarchs the opportunity with the man advantage. They come in with a power play rating efficiency of 43% to the Monarchs, so they would love to see that up the bit. The Timbermen have killed 33% of their man short situations, and that just goes to show you, stay out of the box or teams will make you pay. So dance out there with Ford and follows on the left. Williams on the right, and they'll work that one quick, two-man game. Dance almost out faked himself there as on the run now is Gasparetti looking for more. Wrong stick side this time, different result, and that goes into the gondola and out of play. So back to it go the Monarchs. Riley Ford. So dance at the top, Parker Pfeiffer in that right shooter spot. And this team efficient on both sides. Not able to connect on the cut, eight on the shot clock. Got to go to work now. Pfeiffer had that one blocked, follows the carom. Looking down low, good no look. Dance, jumping over the net. And that will be a violation possession to the Timberman now. Here comes Oren Horn. Horn is going to run into a double team, kick it back out. Penalty almost over. So the Timbermen have done a good job so far in their penalty kill. And they'll work it on the half boards. Just look, look to kill the final 10 seconds here of the shot clock. We're at the 12-minute mark here, second quarter. Five on the shot clock. That one wide of the mark. And that's going to help the Monarchs out as they're going to play it where it lies. Thompson's going to scoop it up. Look for someone. They don't have the numbers. So he'll pull it out. They'll go one more time here with the man advantage. So this time, Pfeiffer's going to work the top. Dance will swing over to that left shooter. And Follows remains on the crease. Backhand. Step in. Portelli. Power play goal for the Monarchs. And it's 7-4. Portelli picks up his second of the game. And that's a good job by the Monarchs to gap that box, find the opening, and bury the opportunity. 11 and a half to go here in this first half. And back to a three-goal deficit for the Timberman. That's been the largest lead of the game so far, and every time it's been the case, the Timbermen have been able to answer they have not been able to find any way to do anything with Mason Kaminga in that circle as he has really improved that. Follows, quick one, dance, tucked it in. No goal, though, tiptoed through the crease. And sorry, that wasn't dance, but a good attempt there by Gay. And now Gasparetti. So Timmerman needs something. Duck in, Thomas, kick out, McAlpine. He'll look for an opening. Can't find one. Back to the left side. Skyler Thomas shrugs off a check. Gets it to Woods. Woods shot right on Wendy. Rebound. Diving and tucking it in. Jack McAlpine using his long reach to reach around Wendy. Get a little air under there and tuck it in the far corner for a 7-5 game. That seems to be one of the few things that can beat a netminder like Wendy or Kaizak is going airborne. Makes it very difficult to not only defend but to stop as Graydon Power runs over the ball. Still loose. Monarchs though will pick it up. And it's Heidecker. High tailing it into the offensive end. And they'll swing it around, slow it up, and set it up. Follows. 
Looking for the give and go. Gone and went. Back out. Riley Ford. Swing to the right. Ten on the shot clock. Pfeiffer. Kicks it out. Dance. Wrong stick side. But he's going to walk in. Get a good shot. Rings it off the iron. Ball loose. Going to be a free ball. And Parker's going to scoop that up. And go back to work with a fresh 30. We're inching towards the 10 minute mark. Second quarter. Williams. Looking for dance. Instead follows. Quick shot right on Kaizak. So a good attempt by Henry Follows. And now Horn will leg it over the timeline. And look for some help. That pass, not a good one. And Williams, the recipient, and he has it. Downey all over him, harassing him. And Williams can't get it out of his own end. So a good job forechecking by the Timberman. They will get possession here and set up on offense. McAlpine, he'll look for an opening. Good hesitation on the run. Kicks it over to the left. Woods. Aaron Woods stepping into one right on Wendy. And he'll look for something. Wendy, bullet. One hopper. And a good job to corral it by Portelli. Some good moves to get out of a dangerous situation and Portelli doing a good job, having himself a fine first half. Ford, quick shot, rings it off the iron. Dance almost had that. Kaizak almost fished it. Instead, Monarchs digging for it, and Timmerman come away with it. Under nine minutes to go. Doherty on the run, three on two. Timmerman, Lowe's gets chased out by Zach Pfeiffer. Good defense by another one of the Fife crew, and Woods now. Trying to get a step. Can't shed a defender. Good defense there. Kick it. Rice. Rice's shot goes off the defender. And that's going to stay and go up the other way. And Monarchs waste no time. Dilks. Back door. Fight dog. One more time. Oh, Parker Pfeiffer. Getting it done. His third of the game. As he continues to bulge the twine, it's 8-5. So I'm not sure on that possession there if that initial shot that went out of play didn't go off a defender and not off an actual Timberman. But again, top-notch refereeing officials, they are on it and have a better vantage point. I have a better overall sight line, but... As far as being in close. And off the draw, Gasparetti, two on one, dumps it over. And that one goes off the crossbar. So McCumber able to beat Wendy, but not the iron. And now it's Heidecker. He'll kick it over. Portelli has some jump in his step. He'll take it back out to the top, reset, swing it over, follows. Follows has dance with him, dance. Four, trying to bail him out. Good defense, though, by Parker Sands. And the dancer rings it off the iron. And Timmerman now the other way, Gasparetti. Can't tell you how many times we've been saying that. Wrong stick side. And gets a, what a save by Wendy. Oh, Craig Wendy doing his thing. And here's Walker now over the timeline. Williams way out from his usual stomping grounds. He'll get filtered down to overload that right side. Try to cause some chaos, and it's follows 10 on the shot clock. Follows. Puts on the brakes, peels back out, kick back to the top. Big shot by Pfeiffer. That was blocked. And dying seconds now, so a good defensive hold by the Timberman. And right at the seven-minute mark, we will go to our second official's timeout. Three-goal lead for the Monarchs as we get set to go again. Timberman with possession, and it'll be Aaron Woods looking to leg it up, and a quick pass to Thomas to jumpstart the offense for the Timberman. Skylar Thomas swinging around, working with McCumber. McCumber at the top. They'll work the interchange. Thomas kick it over, working to Woods. Woods tried to find Rice and instead put it in the bench, so that will change possession and the Monarchs now with Aaron Walker Walker 
Dumped down low and follows was wide open behind there, but Kaizak lays down the lumber. Good cross check there from follows to get it back. And Thomas back to follows on the fo falling. Got the shot off, but a good save as almost caught Kaizak leaning the other way. And no damage done. No team worse for wear. And here come the Timberman. Rice. Working on that left side, and McNutt, and no, that's a crease call, as you can see coming to Wendy's rescue, his defense, but no ill intent there, and possession back to defending champs. Six minutes to go here in the second. Good turnover force there as Horn gets it up and now coming out is Rice. Rice, backhand pass on the doorstep, trying to cut in, nothing doing there. Back to Rice, he'll swing it around, working to McAlpine. McAlpine, they'll go back to the left side with 10 on the shot clock. Thomas down low, quick stick, and Wendy does a great job. I don't know how he got over there in time, but he did. Ford now, under five and a half to go. Good heads up by Heidecker as coming out late was Trumbull. He was ready to lay the lumber down and kick out to Portelli. Dance tried a quick release. Took that pass from his bro. And now four. That's right on. Saved by Kaizak. Here come the Timmerman. Trumbull will flip, he'll retreat, and almost knock down, so good job by Thompson to disrupt things. And Thomas now, looking for an opening, whole lot going over there. Give and go quick, underhand release. Easy save for Wendy, and now it'll be Eklund. Eklund looking out the back door. Good decision not to make that pass. And he'll find Williams. Dangerous Dan Williams swinging around to the dancer. Follows. Ten on the shot clock. Follows. Ducks in. Tried to go far side. Kaizak good save with the right, right glove. Monarchs come away. Just too much going on there. We'll send that back up the Timberman way. And looks like we're going to have a delay of game call. And. We all know the rule, once the whistle blows, do not touch it. So Portelli, the guilty party, will give the Timmerman their first power play opportunity of the game. They come in working at a 56% efficiency rate. Monarchs penalty kill has been good at 53%. So Rice out there with Thomas. Aaron Woods on the other side, shooter spot. They'll give everyone a touch. Working under four minutes to go here. No look pass in tight to Rice. And that one's backhanded the length of the carpet. So a good job there by Kaminga. And now the Timberman going to try to get ahead of steam going and Go to work on offense. Rice sends it over and looking for something. Nothing there. Thomas thought about it. Down to the crease. Backhand pass. Ill advised. I don't think anyone was looking for it. Ten on the shot clock now. Rice is going to have to let it go. Wendy, good pad save. Steers it aside. Rebound. Fresh 30 now. With just over a minute to go in a man advantage. So Rice will settle things down. They'll go back to work. So it's McCumber out on that left crease. And that one's given away, looking for Skyler. And everyone vacates, so Thompson takes it in alone. Patrick Thompson tried to go back the other side. Beauty attempt, but he rung it off the post. So a good move, but couldn't fit it in that 4 by 4 Woods. 30 seconds left in the, in the man advantage. Woods and Rice 
Settle in, gapping that box. Goddard shot right on. Another fresh reset. And back to the top. 20 seconds left in the penalty. No look down the inside, looking for Goddard, right in that dot of half circle. This one's floated up, looking to run under it is Ron. Ron on the wrong stick side, well wide of the mark. And that will flow back. And that's an over and back. So possession will stay over to the left side here with the Timberman. Penalty over now. Teams back to full strength. We're at the two-minute warning. Woods. He's been quiet. Woods thought about it. Chased out by power all over him. Rice bounces off that check. Good defense there off a of helmet. No reset. Ten on the shot clock. McAlpine, his underhand wide of the mark. Another shot by Goddard. Scooped up by Wendy. He's going to look to outlet, and it's a beauty. On the money to Gay. Gay has Kaminga with him. Mason Kaminga, and he pockets a transition goal. 88, getting it done, Mason Kaminga. So you talk about a guy who is a demon in that circle, defensively outstanding, and then jumps in the rush, takes a tough pass that almost handcuffed him and parks it in the far corner to give his team a 9-5 lead. So the Monarchs looking like the defending champs. They haven't in the last previous in the previous three games. As we're under a minute and a half here, left in the second, off the draw. Gasparetti going to be tough as he goes. Great save, Wendy. As he sprawls out, stays still, and makes sure that the rubber stays where it is. Here come the Monarchs now, looking to get it over the timeline with Heidecker. Swinging around, working to follows. Follows. Screen from Dance. Nothing doing on the roll. Good defense there by Bragg. Williams now with eight on the shot clock. Dan Williams tried to tuck it in, and Kaizak cut down the short, short side. And Timberman now the other way. We're into the final minute. Now 45 seconds left. Horn, back door, Rice. Rice has some room, lets it go, but that's stuck right to Wendy. And the Monarchs are going to call a timeout here with 33 Point nine seconds left here in the second quarter. So here we go. Both coaches have done a good job diagramming plays here. We'll see if the Monarchs can extend their lead before the end of this half. There is a three-second differential, game, and sh game clock and shot clock. So dance and follows. They'll work this one down as far as they can net ep empty at the other end. Extra attacker on. Monarchs looking. 10 on the shot clock. Going to have to go to work now. 12 on the game clock. Williams chased out. Dumps it down low. Portelli gets manhandled. Flipped over to no one. No Monarchs recover with Pfeiffer. And nothing doing. So with 1.9 seconds left, it gets aired into the gondola. And 30 minutes in the books here at the track. 9-5 for the Monarchs. All ready to rock steady here for quarter number three. It's a four-goal lead for the defending champion Monarchs. And again, good job by Kaminga as he continues to control the circle. But Walker, in a giving fashion, gives it right back. Casparetti, he'll peel out. He gets worked over by Thompson, and they'll set it up with Downey. Timberman need to come out with a little fire here, a little pep in their step. McCumber, left side, gets a screen on the dump off, working with Bragg, he couldn't get a shot off. Seven on the shot clock, no reset. Quick dump down on the run. Thomas, quick shot right on Wendy. So Craig Wendy tested early on, up to the task, and Walker now will be a little more deliberate. Monarchs now in the offensive end with Portelli. He has had himself a good first half. Looking for Pfeiffer, not able to connect. They'll just leave it. And good hustle, but over the timeline. So follows working hard, but a good job now. And Brian Rice will play the carom. One on two, so he'll pull it out, wait for the rest of the troops, and finds the trailer. 
Good decision by McNutt to peel out. And you see out there working hard on defense is Pfeiffer as he gets knocked down and a good call on the interference. And Pfeiffer now takes the outlet from Wendy. No numbers there for the Monarchs, so they'll set up shop. And it's Williams working the two-man with Pfeiffer. Kick back out, swing pass to the dancer. Quick shot stopped by Kaizak. So two early tests. Both pass by the netminders, and an outlet will send away Trumbull. Thomas got the wheels going. Thomas, one-handed flip, quick stick, good save. Wendy had to get a little more on it than that, and Wendy good outlet pass to Thompson. Patrick Thompson looking to get a step, tried to bend in, curls back out, swings it around. Gesso, and they'll work it to Portelli. Portelli. Follows, swing it back around, 10 on the shot clock. Riley Ford tried to go over top, but a good shoulder shrug by Kaizak made the save. Ball loose, Monarchs trying to pressure in the offensive end. Follows had it, lost it, Gesso now, and he'll set it up. So a good job by Ty Gesso. He'll stay out there in offense, work with his bro 23. Gesso, give and go. Dance, going to scoop that up. Lots of time on the shot clock, swing it around. Ford, looking for someone, finds Portelli. P Portelli looking for a screen with 10 on the shot clock. Trying to turn the corner, lets that go. Kaizak, good pad save. But again, offensive board belongs to the Monarchs. They'll get another 30. Follows, flip back, dance, steps around, change the angle, rings the bell. Another one goes down low. Great save, Kaizak up top, then down low. So how about the dancer trying to change things up? But a good adjustment made by Kaizak, and now it's Aaron Woods. Woods will set it up. Double possession by the Monarchs, and now the Timberman with a chance here on O. But late in the shot clock, six seconds, going to have to let something go here. As Goddard, quick pass across, Downey, Downey. Not in time, as that will be a shot clock violation, and... Now it's Brett Stoller. Williams just over the timeline. He will take it in just a bit deeper. Look for a cutter and follows. Couldn't connect. Ford trying to bail him out. Does, but good job by Kaizak to smother and fish. And here comes Gasparetti. Big strides. Gasparetti right stick side. Gasparetti with far side. Wendy does the splits. Great save. Kaminga scoops up that loose ball, and he'll look to move it up. Kaminga has been good today, doing a lot of the little things. Off the screen, Ford doesn't have the angle. Dumps it back, backhand, and doesn't get through by Dance. And Kaizak now, and gives it right back. Pfeiffer tried to do a quick release on the interception, and instead, good recovery, Kaizak, and it's Trumbull. So some quick thinking by both parties, but better reaction time. And it's Thomas. Skyler Thomas looking for someone. Eight on the shot clock. Bounces in, right back out, kicks it across. Woods tied up. Kaminga. Woods gets loose and pops one in. So Aaron in the woods getting it done there off a great pass. And a much-needed goal trims the lead now to 9-6. Second of the game for Woods as thought he was wrapped up by Kaminga, but I tell you, slippery went wet. And he just bounced off that one and slid through, got a good shot off. So interesting conversation, Justin Bragg at Mason Kaminga. Been a while since Bragg's won a draw here. Kaminga has just been, and again, stays true to form. And he has been a killer in that circle and follows now possession to the Monarchs under 10 minutes to go here, third quarter. The lead is three. Thompson trying to turn the corner. The dancer. He'll look. Slides in. Great move. Tucks it. What a save, Kaizak. Oh, my. Jordan Dance with a great move to shed a defender, but he couldn't beat Kaizak. Lowe's. 
Not the store of the player as they'll set it up now with Thomas. Quick pass, McAlpine stops on a dime, backhand, Woods, Woods now. Two defenders on him, gets harassed by power. That shot right out, sticks right to Wendy. And we're going to have a penalty, and it's going to be an illegal cross-checking call. It's going to go to Graydon Power, who has been extremely active with the stick here in this game. Finally gets tagged with a penalty. So the Timbermen will have their second power play opportunity of this game. They're 0 for 1. And a goal here would go a long way to helping the cause, trailing by three. So Rice at the top working with Thomas, right shooter, Wood, sorry, Thomas, left shooter, Woods, right shooter spot. And they'll look to filter in on the cut. Thomas plays the carom, kicks it back, top shot from Woods. Bulge in the twine, Aaron Woods. Second straight goal for him. He's got three in the game, eight in the season. First power play goal for the Timmerman. And the deficit now for Peterborough, just two. So capitalizing with the man advantage and doing a good job with the Timberman and off the draw this time. Good job by Heidecker. And Ron now is going to try to work his way in. Good job by Kaizak. He'll scoop and outlet. And now look to get it over the timeline with Bafia. That's a good job as Power again will finish his check as he does every check and anyone in the vicinity. And now McCumber, 10 on the shot clock. Tried to fish, couldn't go anywhere, kick it back out. McAlpine lets that go right on Wendy. Walker will get it. He'll scoot around the net, get a screen, and a good outlet pass to Eklund. Eklund now. He'll look, wait, and they'll pull it right back out. And a good job of pressure by Rice. Rice jumps Portelli and causes the turnover. Trumbull now. Wrong stick side. Trumbull tried to go far side. Options limited. Wendy the save. Read that like a novel. And now it's Thompson. Thompson gets a step. Patrick Thompson going to try to work his way in. Gets the shot off, but right in the bread basket. And Kaizak with the easy save. Here come the Timmerman now. Over the timeline with Trumbull. McNutt will take it to the half boards left side, reset the offense, wait for a late McCumber swinging around to the right. Woods has had, scored the last two goals for the Timberman. McNutt, a twister right on. Ball loose and good job tracking that down in the corner, but here come the Monarchs. Quick pass over and Pfeiffer will... Wait has lows on him. Pfeiffer gets bounced around. He'll weave in and out, curl back out, look for some help, gets it to Williams. Williams, good bounce pass, sneaky. Pfeiffer tried the inside outer, tried to go right and stick it left, but ran out of room. So a good idea, just wasn't able to execute. Owen Dale now, he'll give way, and it's Goddard. Thomas hasn't been able to utilize his speed quite yet here in this game. Great stick skills. That pass looking in for Goddard. Nothing doing. Good defense. And now a chance here for Ron. Ron will think better of it. Good transition D by the Timberman. And the Monarchs now will be a little more deliberate here. A two-goal game. Portelli and Dance. Big shot from Ford, right on, backhand off the crossbar. Rebound, Ford tried to go airborne, couldn't do nothing with it. Here come the Timmerman now in transition. Patterson, he'll put on the brakes and think again. He'll take it in, move it up, and get it back. Rice, down low. Again inside, took something off, but missed the net. So a glorious opportunity, nothing doing there. And the Monarchs now, as we are just at 
the five-and-a-half-minute mark. Third quarter. On the cut, follows, takes a hard hit. Great save to Kaizak. Back-to-back stops. And the Timmerman now countering the other way. Horn. Three on two. Horn will try to attack. Skip pass. Looking for Woods. Dump off. McNutt trying to duck in. Good defense. Williams back to Trumbull. Trumbull. Nothing doing there. Ten on the shot clock. McCumber from way out. Good job by the Monarchs. Staying on that. Wendy closes up shop. And he'll scoop and look for some help. Quick outlet pass to send away Eklund. Good defense, good goaltending at both ends here. Monarchs still looking for their first goal of this quarter. That pass to Gesso couldn't connect, and Rice now. Numbers for the Timberman. Rice goes, what a save, Wendy. Dale will hold court there inside the offensive timeline, and Gasparetti will slow it down. So some good opportunities both sides back to back, but everything's been tight underhand, trying to go five hole, but Wendy closed that up. And with 4.05 to go, finally a stoppage to take us to our official's timeout to go here third quarter Monarchs with possession leading by two trying to put a halt to a three game losing skid Timberman trying to extend their win streak to two follows will swing it around they'll work it deep on the left side four tries to get the step off the crossbar again Williams keeps it alive takes a hard hit flips it back and they'll reset great job by Dangerous Dan Williams. Pfeiffer, he's been quiet. Underhand forward, steered aside by Kaizak. Follows, scoops that up, and they'll get another 30 to work with. Good job on the offensive boards by the Monarchs. Portelli. Kick out, Williams. Lot going on everywhere else. Dotted circle, Pfeiffer shot wide. He'll try to scoop that up. Little tug here and there. Bragg now. He's going to muscle his way up on the flip. Gets it over. It's Woods on the fly. Woods dumps it down low. What a save, Wendy. That one stays in play. And a great steal. Woods had it and then lost it as Heidecker returned the theft. And it's Parker Pfeiffer. Pfeiffer. Bragg puts the pressure and the clamps down on him. Great job by Fife Dog. Slips by one. Pfeiffer. Tried to go far side, top corner. Couldn't find the mark, and now it's Lowe's. Flips it up. Rice runs under it. And we are two and a half minutes away from the end of the third. Rice, isolated one-on-one, -on -one, waits for a trailer in Downey. Kick it over, gets it back. On the cut through Thomas, and it's a beauty goal. Skyler Thomas on the fly. Cuts the lead to one. Great play. Great find as Thomas came flying in late off the bench. And, boy, he caught that in stride and found that far corner. 2.20 left. It's a 9-8 game. Like I said off the top, both these two teams in need of a win here. Monarchs sitting 1-3. Timberman at two and two. So with the Whippy Steelhawks falling to the Oshawa Outlaws 16-15, they are no longer unbeaten. Two games tomorrow, of course, including the 4-0 Paris River Wolves. But in the meantime, between time, Gay had it, lost it, picked up now, and it's Gasparetti. We're under the two-minute warning. He'll kick it back, and Trumbull will settle it down. They'll wait for the rest of the offense. So the Timbermen have done a good job. They have outscored the Monarchs 4-0 here in this quarter to cut the lead, and that one scooped up by Wendy. And an outlet to Walker. Follows. He'll duck by one, and Aluda tree chop. Williams, that pass is not a good one, and 
Let's see what the call is. So an illegal cross check going to be the call. Looks like it's going to go to the Timberman. As you can see, Ben Doherty making that slow jog to the penalty box. So the Monarchs now with their second power play opportunity. They are one for one with a man advantage. Trying to find something here in this third quarter. They've been held scoreless. Williams, dance at the top. Let's it go right on. And Kaizak, great job by Dance to get a stick on it. Rice, though, with the bailout. Brian Rice, got the feet going. Rice, going to look to attack. He goes to the far side wide of the mark. Owen Ron will pick that up. Quick pass up to Pfeiffer. Two on one with the dancer. Pfeiffer, dance, dance, airborne. Great save, Kaizak. Back the other way, come to Timmerman. They'll look to kill some time. 46 seconds left on the game clock. Still a minute 15 left in the penalty. McCumber going to try to work the shot clock all the way down here. 10 on the shot clock. McCumber draws the double team. He gets worked over. Tries to shuck, it, shuck one over. Gets a shot off and it sneaks. Almost snuck through, but so they're going to say shot clock violation and there's going to be another penalty, and it looks like it's going to go to power, and that with 59 seconds left will nullify the Toronto power play opportunity. So with 24 seconds left, we'll play some four on four, and Graydon Power may want to stop and think about it for a sec. Just a little overly aggressive at the wrong time. Took the opportunity away from his team. So now, 22 seconds left here in the third. Goddard, been quiet since the first. Let's it go! Ho ho, baby! Pellet in the top corner for Goddard. We're tied at nine. Not a whole lot else you could say about that because, boy, he put a dent in that top corner for his third goal of the game. Comes with 15.8 seconds left. And talk about making up the deficit. It was 5-3 Toronto after 1-9-5 at the half for Toronto. We're now tied 9-9 here with 15.8 seconds left in the third. Off the draw, Kaminga back in it again. Gives his team possession here. See if Toronto can get something late. They're going to go for it. Kaminga leans into one. Kaminga shot stopped by Kaiser. Sits there, and that's going to be a crease ball, and that's going to do it. Three are in the books. We're tied at nine. Fasten your seatbelt for the fourth. Well, if you're not jacked for this fourth, tied at nine, and nothing's going to get you excited as these two teams again, and Kaminga... This time does a good job knocking away, but the Timmerman read it, and it's Gasparetti had a touch, but Gay comes away with it, and he'll move it up. So Kaminga now will set up shop with Dilks. They'll wait, and the Monarchs now offense will try to filter out. So Toronto shut out in that third quarter. You can bet Bobby DeBrone and company will make some adjustments here in the final 15. They'll work with follows. Eight on the shot clock. Quick pass over. Good bounce shot up to the gondola. Another 30 for Toronto. So penalty over, and it'll be a minute power play now for the Timberman as Dance will look to work some clock. Jordan Dance. He'll let that go. Almost got it on target. Instead, knocked down by Rice, but picked up. No reset. It's Pfeiffer going to try to work his way. That over the shoulder is a good one. Right on, but Kaizak right where he should be. Timmerman now looking for the go-ahead. They've reeled off four straight. Rice, good hesitation. Dilks all over him. Good pressure. 25 seconds left in the penalty. Rice will swing it across, and they'll start it on the left. Thomas. Down on that left crease, looking for an opening. Woods on that right shooter spot. Zip pass to down. He couldn't handle it. Jumped, and two hands on was Kaminga. So reset that clock. Five seconds left in the man advantage. So they're going to wait for power to get out. And they look to go 
Right across, kick it back. It's picked off by Thompson. He was looking to head man it instead. Here come the Monarchs. It's Gay. Had a notion as they had a man in the back door. Instead, they'll set it up at the top. So the Monarchs being a little more deliberate here. Now every possession magnified now here in this fourth quarter as they will set it up with Portelli. Five and a shot clock. Follows, going to have to do something. Follows, ducks in, creates space, right on. Kaizak to save. Follows, follows up his own. Takes a hard hit from his knees. Still fishing in there, working hard. Getting some help from Ford as the clock continues to tick down and Timmerman will come away with the good old-fashioned pickup, and they'll move it up now. Woods. Woods will wait for the rest of the offense to find its way. Looking for an opening. Couldn't turn the corner. Rice lets it go right on Wendy. He'll scoop it. Wendy looking for an outlet pass. He'll find Owen Ron. Ron, back door. Gets it back. Ron and... Pfeiffer probably should have kept it. He was on his right stick side. Not the case for Ron. Hence the shot wide. And here comes Gasparetti the other way. Gasparetti, a final cut with Albany. Great job there. And how about Skyler Thomas coming alive when he needs to? Five straight, 10-9 Timberman. Second of the game for Skyler Thomas. And... Boy, he has come alive. Was solid in the first two quarters, but since the third, he has been a force. So the Timberman on fire here. Monarchs looked in control in the first half, but the second's been a whole different ball game. Timberman now with possession. Thomas. Got a little pep in his step, too. Works it to Trumbull. 11 and a half to go here in the fourth. McCumber's shot. Steered aside Wendy. Gets his own rebound. They'll work with 30 more. McAlpine will swing it across. Woods. Woods. One on one. On the change off. Gay will take over. Good job defensively. Thomas. Thread the needle pass. Let's it go. Wendy. Great save there. And that'll be a crease possession. Belongs to the Monarchs. Just saying about earlier about Jake Gasparetti, final cut with Albany, and expect him to do some great things. Does a lot of the good little things that don't show up on the stat sheet but allow a long ball possession. And Dance, going to have to do something because Jordan Dance has been quiet. Follows, takes a late hit. No call on the play. Scooped up Dance and Timmerman now. Have been the aggressors here in the second half. They have come alive here. It's Lowe's. Lowe's has Stoller on him. Downey will kick it over. Working to Thomas. Thomas can't handle the pass. Picked up by Power. Power. Going to go for a bit of a run. Graydon Power. Gets the legs going. Doesn't have any help as Thomas tracks him down. Gets it over now, and it's Ford. Riley Ford will duck in. He'll think better of it. Flip back, goes off of a defender's back, and Kaizak, great recovery, and here come the Timberman. Trumbull, big long strides, has Rice. Rice, cut it, great save, Wendy. Rebound, Eklund, out battled for it. Gasparetti tried to tuck it down, Wendy, big save there. And that's through the crease, so possession will belong now to the Monarchs. So Toronto needs something. They need a little spark, a little flame. Here they've been quiet through a quarter and a bit now. Just over nine and a half. Pfeiffer lets it go right on target. Kaizak, outlet, and Bafia can't handcuffed on that. It was not a good outlet pass. And Bafia still battling for it, scoops it up. He'll try, and he'll score. No goal, crease the call. So a great attempt. And now Heidecker. He's on his wrong stick side, so he'll hustle to where he should be. Gets it over, dumps it off. Ron, trying to go through the legs, and he does. My, oh, my. 
Oh, and Ron has had an over the shoulder and now a through the legs for his third of the game. First goal for the Monarchs in what seems to be a lifetime, and we're tied at 10. 9.09 to go. So creativity on display here at the Toronto Rock Athletic Center as we have had one heck of a game here between these two teams. And trying to jump early to get a jump on Kaminga was Bragg, but not able to do it. He flinched early, possession to the Monarch. So let's see if Toronto now can mount something. See if they can find back-to-back -back goals for the first time. Like, fight for a great move. Fight dog. Stopped, though, by Kaizak. Rebound Dancer. He'll pick that up, swing it around to Williams. Back to the Dancer. Jordan Dance had it popped out. Picked up and a great scoop. Here come the Timberman. Trumbull. Back door is Rice. Trumbull. He'll keep it. Knocked down. Good job by Ron. Ron and Trumbull. Trumbull comes away with it. He'll set things up. No reset on the clock. Under eight and a half to go here. Fourth quarter. Trumbull. Looking for an opening. Can't find one. Good defense there as Power. Had it once and once from way out. I don't think Wendy saw that to the last second, and Aaron Woods came to play, and it's 11 10 Timberman. Aaron Woods with his fourth of the game. He has been outstanding. And I'm sure Craig Wendy would love to have that one back. But that was a sneaky but accurate shot. So the Timbermen with their first lead in, oh, a long time. I think way back in the first quarter, Heidecker with it. Gets it over. Jesso gets harassed but does a good job to get it to Thompson. Thompson will head off. Toronto offense out with Ford. Ford lets it go. Sticks like Velcro to Kaizak. And he'll send away Parker Sands. Sands over the timeline. Good defense by Dilks. Swinging around. Work it to the left side. 15 on the shot clock. McAlpine. Looking for the screen. He lets it go through a crowd. So that one you know for sure Wendy did not see. But Jack McAlpine picking his spots to bury his second of the game. Largest lead now for the Timberman is 12-10. So this has been a game of adjustments. And as of right now, Peter Burrell has made the second half adjustments to set them on the right course. 7.24 to go, so that's a lifetime in this sport remaining in this game. The draw again, this time a good job by Trumbull as that's the first time Kaminga didn't pick it up clean. He makes some pay, but Trumbull will hang on. And good job by Gasparetti to hold on to that one. And now it's Thomas. So the Timbermen have a little bit more jump in their step here since taking the lead. Woods. Gets it back. Eight on the shot clock. Woods flip. McAlpine trying to duck in. Kaminga closes that off. Great defense there. Wendy picks it up. That'll be a violation, and they'll do a play on. So a good job on the stick check. Gives it right back to Peterborough, just outworking Toronto right now here in the fourth. Goddard kick. McAlpine has room. Tried to find a far side. Rebound picked up and pocketed. So Colton McNutt, right place, right time on the doorstep. And it's 13-10. So McNutt with his first of the game comes at a very good time for the Timbermen as they now have their largest lead 
13-10 with 6.25 to go. So the Monarchs have kind of gone to sleep as Gasparetti now gets a step. Gasparetti, what a save by Wendy. May have been, may have gotten away. Stoller may have gotten away with a bit of a high stick there, but power now. So the Monarchs now are really going to need something here. Pfeiffer, he's been quiet. Dance has been quiet. Follows has been quiet. Williams has been quiet. On the spin, saved by Kaizak, and they've been quiet because Thomas Kaizak has been outstanding in that net. And now it's Doherty. He'll take the shot. Tried to fool Wendy. Wendy, great recovery. Walker now picks it up. Walker, he'll move it up. Slow it down, set it up with Dance. Jordan Dance. Swings it from way out. Portelli lets it go. Kaizak, easy save there. And Timberman now with numbers. They'll pick it up. It's Bingley. Caleb Bingley, he's not in any hurry as he'll find Woods now. Woods will go to work now on Eklund, trying to get a step. Swing it back out to Thomas. Five minutes remaining here, fourth quarter. Rice in tight. Gasparetti just over, sorry, Goddard just over the net. And now Toronto going to try to counter. Running out of time are the Monarchs. Trying to pick up, trying to put a halt to a three-game slide. And Ford out there with follows and dance on that left side. Overload, net empty. And... That one stops, so Kaizak, net empty. Wendy's going to have to hustle. Trumbull lofts it up, and wide of the mark. Trumbull going to try to get his own rebound. Good job by Heidecker. Did just enough, and with 4.22 to go, that will take us to our final officials' timeout. All ready to go here, 4.22. Monarchs with the net empty, trailing by three. They've got some work to do. Question is, do they have a last run here? They haven't gone on a run with back-to-back -back goals since the second quarter. Dance. He's going to try to inch his way in. He lets it go. That's from way out. Kaizak safe. Fresh 30 now. Back to Dance. Dance. He'll slide over, change the angle, working with Ford. Follows on that left crease. Kick it back over. Down. Quick stick off the post. Rebound Portelli. They'll reset it again. Under four minutes now. Ford, no look pass. Williams tried to go far side, stopped by Kaizak. He has been good. Kaizak's going to go for the goal, and that just goes over the net. And good hustle by Wendy, but back the other way come the Monarchs. Thompson. Three and a half. Ford. They'll work it to Williams. Williams now inches his way in, 15 on the shot clock. Dance. Portelli can let it go. Kaizak has all the angles covered, and this one's going to be the best chance for the Timmerman. Now Parker Sands. Sands, he'll tuck it in. The empty net with 3.12 to go. Parker Sands just got the legs going, and good job. That's the risk you take when you pull your goalie. So with the lead four now, not looking good for the Monarchs as they've got a mountain to climb and they have to do it on foot. Timberman, though, looking a lot different from the Peterborough team of last year as it took them a while to pick up their first win. Not the case this year as Rice going to go in alone. Brian Rice and stop by Wendy. So Wendy, you got to like because he's still playing hard. That's the beauty. And Toronto's still trying here. Second game of week five. Dance goes, weaves his way in, gets closed up, loses his lid. And Timmerman now with Bingley. And Bingley, they'll be in no hurry. You can bet Horn. Good 
job on the carom and a bit of frustration on the side of the Monarchs. And I think when you talk to the Monarchs coaching staff, it's going to be about playing four quarters because they played two excellent quarters. Problem is it was the first two and not the last two. Peterborough made some adjustments at half and came out, outscored Toronto. 4 nothing to tie the game at 9, heading to the 4th. And it's been all Peterborough since then, under the 2-minute warning. Quick stick follows, and it slips through. So Henry follows, stops the bleeding, but it's only a Band-Aid solution. And it's 14-11. Follows, that's his first of the game, ninth of the season, and you can bet if Toronto's going to get back on track, they're going to need more from him on a consistent basis. This, though, Toronto's look like their strongest lineup they had. The only issue was they just didn't put together the four quarters you need to win a game here in the Arena Lacrosse League. Rice off the draw. Does a good job to weave through traffic. Dump off, and that's going to be pocketed by Gasparetti, 15-11. So Jake Gasparetti with his second of the game, he's got five. Sorry, let me check that. He's got nine goals this season. And it's looking based on what we're seeing here like that could have been the dagger wielded. Toronto, of course, going to play. When you get in these situations, you got to play for the next game as well. So it's not over till it's over. And, of course, we're just in week five of the Arena Lacrosse League, 14 weeks before we hit playoffs. Eklund. Good pressure, though, by Peterborough. They haven't let up. Eklund. Has no breathing room whatsoever. Trumbull all over him. They'll swing it around with 15 on the shot clock. Williams. Williams. Bounce back out by Bragg. Looking for an opening. Kicks it back out. Follows. Dance. He's going to let it go. Had that far side, but Kaizak made a good save. No reset. Williams tried to get it on target. That's a violation. We are into the final minute of play here in this game. Four-goal lead for Peterborough. Trumbull. Power certainly doesn't let up. Again, finishing every check and every buddy he's, that's in the vicinity. And now getting a step going for a bit of a run is Downey. Downey's going to get worked over. Two big bodies in power and Staller in there. And that'll be a violation. Final 30 seconds here. And Heidecker now will push it, get it back up. Pfeiffer, he'll get the shot off and find the mark. So still a little pulse there as the Fife dog picks up his fourth goal of the game. And it's 15-12 with 21 seconds left. So a violation will give possession to Toronto. They'll work it up quick. Williams, shot, steered aside, Kaizak. Williams battling for it. Ten seconds left. And Peterborough's going to pick that up. So the Timbermen are going to pick up their second win in a row. They're going to up their record now to three and two. The Monarchs, the defending champs, will fall now to one and four. 15-12 the final. That's going to do it. For us here at the track, I'm Lance Wynn, JVI Productions in the house. We will see you next time.